Hello, in this session we will look at an introduction to Terraform. Now Terraform is your open source infrastructure as code tool and this tool was created by the company HashiCorp. So Terraform is one of the most famous infrastructure as code tool that we have in the market as of now and um, a lot of companies are using this tool to set up their infrastructure to automate their infrastructure using code. Now Terraform uses a declarative coding model so it follows a declarative coding uh, tool so terraform enables the developers to use a high level configuration language known as hcl which stands for hashicorp configuration language which is simply describing the desired end state uh, that you want on the cloud or on the on premise infrastructure so this is something something like this so you can think of it as your yaml syntax that you're writing so this follows your declarative coding style it then generates a plan for reaching the end state and executes that plan to provision the infrastructure so uh, once you're done writing the code terraform will generate a plan for you you can review that plan once you are okay with the plan you can start executing it and then terraform will create those resources for you now because terraform uses a very simple syntax you can provision the infrastructure across multiple cloud platforms so terraform supports multi-cloud uh, model so you can use terraform to provision your infrastructure on, on any cloud you want you can also use terraform to provision your infrastructure on premise data centers and you can safely and efficiently reprovision the infrastructure in response to configuration changes so even if you want to update the infrastructure you can uh, modify the code which will go and update the resources for you so you can use terraform to set up your infrastructure on aws you can use it for azure you can use it for google cloud and you can also use it for other clouds like your oracle cloud uh, vmware cloud alibaba cloud everything works so terraform lets you define the resources and your infrastructure in a simple and human readable declarative configuration files and it also manages your entire infrastructure's life cycle now using this terraform it has a lot of advantages over managing your infrastructure manually so because this is piece of code it is much simpler to manage your infrastructure so terraform uh, can help you to manage your infrastructure across multiple cloud platforms so you can use the same tool for multiple cloud platforms then uh, the human readable configuration language helps you write the infrastructure code easily so because uh, the the code is simpler uh, as a developer it becomes easier for you to write the code to set up the infrastructure uh, terraform's state allows you to track the resource changes throughout your deployments so in terraform when you are creating the infrastructure it generates a file known as a state file we will be talking about that file uh, later on now this state file is uh, simply a record of the resources that you have created so at any point you want to change you want to modify the infrastructure terraform uses this state file to uh, compare the changes and then uh, make the changes accordingly so you can also commit your configurations to version control to safely collaborate on infrastructure so uh, whatever the code that you are writing whatever the configuration files you are writing you can also check out to your version control system and you can uh, start managing different different versions of your code and you can also collaborate with other developers uh, on these configuration files so that's basically what your terraform is so once again terraform is your infrastructure as code uh, you can uh, use this to set up your infrastructure on any cloud platform you want via code that's all i have for this session thank you once again before you leave uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video uh, leave a like and please share the video